Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I'm super excited you're here. So if she's cheating on you and with no remorse, like she is not even ready to stop or talk about it or apologize, even if it is so, just for apologizing sake, then um, there are a few things you can still do. All hope is not lost. So this discussion today is quite a difficult topic. I agree, guys, but there's always a way out of everything. Now, why this topic is very important is that a lot of people, a lot of men are dealing with mental health breakdowns that they could have just done something about, right? You could just be making a call. They could just be being vulnerable to open up to someone. And so we're going to dive into all of those things that you're supposed to do. Assuming you're currently facing or you're currently in a relationship where the girl is going all bam in your face, cheating with your friends, maybe, you know, she is not even hiding it. And somehow for whatever you can get or not, or for your ego or your self-esteem, you are at a place where you are the victim prime victim and don't know what to do, then this video is for you, okay? If today is the first time, hello, this is a men uh, platform where we talk about everything, leveling up and loving the women in your life the right way. And of course, where how to be a better version of yourself, okay? Now, if you like this video so far, or you like this topic, just like this video, give it a thumbs up. It will help the algorithm to share it to other men, okay? All right, so let me go straight into what I think you should do if she's cheating on you without remorse, all right? Infidelity is such a humongous issue in relationship. It is something that a lot of people are dealing with and don't know how to get out of it. Now, let me even draw this um, correlation. In a country called Nigeria, where I come from, um, there's been elections and a particular candidate clearly had overwhelming support and votes, but another candidate thinks is his turn and he has actually, you know, snatched the position, walked around maneuvering the electorate umpire and all of those, and he's actually a sitting president, guys. So um, relating that to a relationship where this person is not even um, wanting to talk about it. Is what I believe or whatever, whatever, or how do we go about it? This person is just saying, this is me and you have to deal with it without talking about it. You know what I mean? That's, that can be very difficult. Yeah, that can, and I needed to do that allusion, guys. Yes, you know, I needed to. Okay, so how do you navigate a relationship where you don't call the shots now? Or rather, you are not part of the shots being called. Like, it looks like you're just on your own. And it's worse still when somehow, if she is maybe from a wealthy home or she's well-placed in society more than you are, or, you know, just have several advantages over you, sometimes most men think it is the reason why it gets even more difficult. But, you know, but let's go straight into what you can do if she's cheating without remorse. So just like maneuvering a political um, setup, it can be such an uphill battle, you know, dealing with the fact that she is not even remorseful. So the first thing you have to do is allow yourself to feel how you are feeling, right? So many, this is very important because a lot of men just, you know, bury their head and try to pretend that nothing is happening or try to pretend that they are not feeling hurt or try to pretend that all is well or trying to just put a facade that, you know, all is well. No, no. You're feeling depraved. You're feeling angry. You are feeling um, betrayed. You're feeling like, what should I actually do? I'm confused. All right. Bask in that. Okay. Bask in that in the sense of don't deny it. Okay. So don't go about talking about, oh, you know, whatever is fine. Everything is fine. Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I know that I don't need to see anybody. I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything is fine. I'm the man in my home. No, <laughs> because at some point in your lifetime, you are going to break down and feel all of these feelings. And maybe this relationship would have gone on or not. So the um, the ability to allow yourself to feel what you're feeling help you begin to the process of healing and finding, you know, the clues around it. This is very important, guys. Don't ignore it. But allow yourself to say, I am aware I am hurt. I'm confused. Or I'm even scared to broach this topic, to really, like, confront her about it. Okay? Allow yourself to say, this is what is happening to me right now. But while I said this is a very important is because processing your emotions help, like I said, the healing process. And that should lead necessarily to you boldening up to having this courageous conversation. Yes, that's number two. You have to get a time, you know, invite her to a talk, a, a frank talk, like, 
you guys are in this together okay so a time to talk about how you feel how it makes you feel and hear her own part as well and then if she is now coming up with the truth or not be able to tell her how that you you, you would have you would have preferred or it would have hurt less if she was apologetic about it or be or wanting to be held accountable to not do it again you know what i mean so you have to have this frank talk why i'm emphasizing this is because this is one of the hardest things for a lot of men to do and that's why there's a lot of breakdown mentally so you don't have to act like no whenever she wants to talk about it or i take a decision or take an advice of your friends or family no you have to talk with the horse like hear from the horse's mouth okay very important guys letting you hear exactly her frame of mind or why she's doing what she's doing or for the how she's hardened about it or not will help you begin to process the next step make sure that this conversation nobody's being defensive so you have to kind of um, moderate that conversation to make sure that she allows you to bear your mind and you also allow her to bear her mind right it will give you a whole lot of headspace after that conversation if you do it right so make sure that you don't allow your emotion to get into place to allow things you've heard from here and here to get into the discussion so nobody should be defensive okay the next thing you must do is now sit down with yourself and have a meeting with yourself remember you have decided this is how i feel you are aware of it you have had this hard conversation you've heard that own part of the story the next thing you have to do is to sit down with yourself and have a conference with yourself and say okay i deserve better you know the fact that this is happening to me doesn't make me a bad person it doesn't reduce the fact that i do not want this you know just make sure that you can prep talk yourself so using your value system of, of course make sure that at this stage you can create boundaries you can say okay so this, this is what i will not take anymore so if she steps out again depending on what you guys have discussed so i'm going to also do this but make sure that whatever you decide to do in creating boundaries doesn't have to be abusive to her okay so create your boundaries at this point and remind yourself of your self-worth let me tell you why this is important it can make you feel very very useless like you feel like a whole man like me you know like how so many ladies will feel like oh my god look at everything i've got and he still stepped out on me you know that kind of thing so make sure that you can look at yourself and say i'm too much yeah any woman who has me is blessed okay and say it a minute reaffirm to yourself your self-worth and okay and then create boundaries so i'm not going to talk about this again i'm not going to get angry about this again i'm going to if she steps out again this you know just create boundaries and things that you have you may already you should have already have communicated to her during the talk that you will no longer take okay this stage is also very important so while you're creating these boundaries and you know evaluating your self-worth and taking care of yourself more remember the most important values this is very important say for instance you have a value system of family intimate family system that it will help guide your decisions henceforth if you have a value system of honesty integrity for instance it will make you know that okay so this is something i might not be able to handle or not right if you have a value system say of um open communication not hiding anything you're, you're an open book so when things uh, have gone to the point where no the other person doesn't want to open up and all of that these are things pointed that will let you know whether you know you have an you can amend this or you could just you know make up your mind to leave right the next thing which is the fourth thing you're supposed to do is to focus on your self-care Focus your attention right now on the things that you love to do, right? Go ahead, you know, hang out with your friends, go out. You know, I know because the vacuum that you have shared with this person as an intimate partner may be missing right now. The companionship may be missing. Don't dwell there. You are aware of what is happening to you. You're aware of how you are feeling. You have been able to have a courageous conversation with her. You have been able to draw boundaries and communicate them clearly. Right now is the time to focus on yourself so that your mental health can bounce back. Okay, focus on the things that you love to do. If you like to write, this is a good time to write a fantastic bestseller book. If you ask me, this is a good time to go out, learn a sport, you know, get interested in hobbies and certain things you have been putting away, either because of the responsibility of this same relationship. You know what? You know how it goes, right? So make sure you go out there, prioritize yourself, and do just this. Also, while at it, don't surround yourself with naysayers. Don't surround yourself with people who will tell you, oh, yeah, they're all the same. Come on. Or people who want to take you to drink a lot. People who want to take you to smoke. Who want you to do bizarre things. No. This is not a time to surround yourself with those kind of people. This is a time to surround yourself with positive-minded people who understand 
how to navigate these things, who have gone through this and have come out, bounced back better, you know, listen to good podcasts, watch my YouTube videos, for instance, you're going to get encouragement, right? Read good books, hang out with genuine friends and relatives who really mean well for you, who will give you good advice. We all have our antennas that tell us what is good advice, okay? So I'm not going to, you know, let not go there, all right? Um, make sure that this is happening because it will give you the strength, the mental strength to take the next possible decision that will be good for you so that your thoughts are not modeled up and please take some time to do all of these four steps don't rush anything this can happen in a week or two no this can happen in a month take your time and process these things take them one step at a time and it will lead us to the next point okay now the next point is at this stage we are having this all this whole conversation this is now the time for you to take a decision and say okay so this thing that she's doing is it like a one-time you know uh decision because and i know a lot of men that can run off by just somebody's mistake and if during the talk you found out that it was actually a mistake she made and she hasn't been bold to discuss it these are things that can be mended you two can go for counseling you can go for therapy you can talk things over actually you can you know understand where she's coming from where her mental energy has been what could be the trigger of that kind of thing but if it's something that is regular i mean it's been so regular and at the same time like i said she doesn't have any remorse she is not even promising um, to stop kind of thing and then you take the decision that is best for your value system you know what you want if you're a one man one woman kind of man you'll not be able to stay with a woman who is a, a multiple men kind of woman because you will not want to share and all of those so as at this stage you can clarify is it a mistake she made once that we can deal with i can forgive i can you know begin to look at how to deal with it is she ready to talk about it or to change or is it something that is habitual? Okay, so at this point, you make the best decision for yourself according to your value system, according to what you love, not because of any other person. All right, this is the end of this video, and I'll bring another bump up episode in the next as usual. And yes, I'm back fully. All right, okay, so if you're watching this point, drop it in the comment section and say, Jenny, you said that so that we can confuse some people. <laughs> I learned this from someone. Okay, all right, so drop in the comment section and let me know that you watched this point. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. There are um, other 195 other videos, amazing videos that you love. Go and um, binge watch them and see you next time. All right, bye.